Hello everybody, Charlie's Cards here. I bring to the table some uh, Fernando Tatis um, baseball cards. So I just did a SGC reveal and one of the cards that I got back was this 2019 uh, Sepia. Let's look at it, 2019 Topps Chrome. Fernando Tatis Jr. Sepia Refractor. Beautiful looking card. Four sharp corners. Why the heck did it get an 8.5? So tonight I wanted to uh, uh, talk about uh, going the next step now. Now that we know that SGC has made it clear that centering is... Uh, I don't know, maybe 50% of the grade, 60% of the grade um, that they're going about here. It looks that way when, you know, when I turn in three uh, different style uh, Fernando Tatis. So I got the sepia. I got the uh, rainbow foil, beautiful card. And I got the 150 anniversary Tatis. And PSA 10. They would be worth a whole bunch of money. Nine, nine is a gem, gem mint. So I'm sorry, just mint, MT mint. Uh, nine and a half is gem mint plus, and or mint plus. I apologize. Nine and a half mint plus, and then ten is gem mint, and then there's the pristine. So. What is going on here? So just to point out this, I want you to look at the centering of this card. Look at his glove, how it lines up along the edge. Okay? So you look at this border and this border. They're the same. Okay? So this card um, is a good example. This card is a better example. It's already been graded by SGC and it's been graded gem mint. So uh, you can tell on the sepia that his glove is off of the card. You see that? Whereas you look at this one and the glove is at the very edge of the card. This happens to be a prism, and then both borders are the same. So when you look at this one, this border is a lot smaller than this one, and that's probably why I got the uh, 8.5. I haven't looked at the corners, but that's basically it. So I'm in the process of doing another SGC submission, and i want been working on the uh, Tatis Rainbow. So I've been looking through my cards and th these are the two sepias that I got and I'm not going to take them out of the case and hopefully we can do justice by looking through the, uh, the cases here um, because I have cleaned them all up and when, when you clean them up, this is what I mean by cleaning them up. So I take a folded hand towel. And I lay that down and then I take the card out and lay that on on the uh, on the on the towel and I found this very very soft uh, microfiber towel so it's it's a very fine microfiber towel it's not for automotive or anything it's it's actually for jewelry so it's very soft uh, very fine, it's very clean, and I use that, and I'm, I'm able to wipe the front and the back of the cards off, but not putting a lot of pressure on it, but totally cleaning both sides of the card uh, to, to inspect it, to see if it's going to go uh, in my pile that's going to SGC. And after getting uh, a bunch of nines this last time, I thought that I should really go the extra mile 
and see if I can determine, uh, you know, which cards to send and which cards not to send. So I've got a couple, I've got a couple of uh, prisms here and they pass the test where that's at the edge. That's at the edge. A little bit more, I mean a micrometer. I mean a tiny, tiny bit more. Look at that, a tiny, tiny bit more. Can you see that? There, there. That, that's the way to look. So, I mean, yeah, we're getting to it. And then we're looking at the bottom to see if the bottom is the same width. So, I've got a really good light underneath it. It looks like this one. This one's centered better on the bottom and this one's centered better on the side. So, uh, hopefully I'll make the cut. Uh, clean them up. There's there's no, you know, there's nothing really other than that. The corners are perfect. Everything else is okay. So, um, this next one is the uh, 410. So, There's the 410 as a 10. And again, we're looking at the space between his glove and the card. Uh, we can use this because his card doesn't got anybody in the background, you know? It doesn't got, uh, it doesn't got but two borders. And it's real important that you look at both borders because that determines the card. So, if this is a gem mint, we can then look at the cards that we got and determine if ours are in the same parameter. So you look at his right there. Little bit of card. Little bit of card. Little bit of card. So I think these are two very good candidates for a gem. And what's crazy to me about it, okay, so I got two here. I got three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven uh, total of these that I've packed, pulled, and only two qualify. This one, if it's not a corner, then it's, uh, you know, where his glove is. Not as cornered where his glove is. That glove's too close. You can see we've got the space there. Space. No space. Too close. No space. Too close. This one's too close. His glove is almost off the, uh, the card. So, out of the seven, I got two. Now when I get into... So, let's, uh, let's wish the best for these. Come on. And uh, this is the rainbow foil, which is this one that I got. That's a 10, and this is a 9. And after looking at them, ish. so it looks like this one, the glove is got no space on the edge. So I look at mine. No space on the edge. I look at the sides, equal space here, equal space there. So this one was confusing. I, I may have to crack that out after looking at it, but because that's that's a huge card. I mean, that right there is selling for a thousand dollars because I think these are are uh, rarer than than the gold. All right, so we got. Two of those we're submitting. Both of those, I think, are good candidates for 10. All right, the next set is uh, Topps Chrome. So I got three candidates here. So here's our candidate for a Gem Mint 10. Here's it blown up just a little bit. So out of the, out of the Topps, 2019 Topps Chrome. Three there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven. Sorry, that oh, that's a that's a refractor. So eleven, 
I have 11 of them, and only three of them pack pulled right into a sleeve after they were opened and right into a, a top loader right after they were opened because I knew this was a big deal, the uh, top four. So this is 203. So when the 201, 202, 203, 204 came out, they went right into a sleeve, right into a top loader. And to think that that many cards top sent out that don't don't qualify for Gem Mint 10, that to me is wow. So again, we'll look and see that that's very close to the edge. Borders the same. Very close to the edge. Very close to the edge. And very close to the edge. This one, very close to the edge. So we're looking at corners, we're looking at centering. Now we gotta look at the bottom. We gotta determine if the bottoms are the same as the sides. And out of it, I got three. I got one with just a little surface scratch on it, so I'm submitting that one with it because it's, it's one of the best ones that I got. But to think that all these See, there's no space. The glove on this one, the glove is the glove is off the card. Okay? The glove is off the card. The glove is off the card. Look at this one. Same thing. Glove, no space. Right at the edge of the card. This one, too much space. Look how much space is there. There's not that much space on this one. Not that much space. This is too too much space. This one is good, but the bottom. The bottom. So, went through all these, cleaned them up, looked at each one, decided that I had three that qualify for... Uh, gem mint now fortunately i have one of these so after looking at this one and after looking at at uh at this so this is what i'm talking about when i say uh it it has uh, a lot more going on in the background you can pick out some of these little spots see that oh sorry let me move it up just a little bit see that little freckle Sorry, that little freckle, see it right there? Look in the corner, see where they are? And when I look at the freckle up there, it's there. And I look at the corner, how the corner is. The corner there, the corner here. Equal spacing on both sides. I look at a freckle over here. I can look over there. See that right there where that person is? Look at those three. See what those three are doing? That's how I've been looking at different things on the card to figure out if this is centered like one that they are calling Gem Mint 10. Okay, so where did I get these pictures? Well, I got these pictures on eBay, so I went in eBay, and I put put down 2019 Topps Chrome, or Topps Update, or Topps Series 2. I found a SGC Gem Mint 10, and I began to look at my cards with that in mind. So, that's how I determined... Uh, which cards I should sub submit and which ones I should hold back and Crazy part about it is to think that I'm gonna hold all these tattices that I got back because they pack pulled Because I really don't want more eights and nines So I'm trying to do or eight fives and his gloves all the way off the card so these three were were really 
really, uh, I thought they were really good candidates, you know. At, but after looking at it now, after looking at all the evidence, you know now that that's basically what's going on. They're off center. And we're hearing time and time again when guys do reveal, well, I heard that SGC is really strict on centering. Well, if SGC is really strict on centering, then I'm going to try to do my homework, do my dil due diligence, and see if I can come up with um, a quality card to send to them instead of uh, wasting my time in theirs. Because basically, what we're looking for is we're looking for tens. I mean, and if you got more than one card to pick from, then let's do the extra diligence, let's do the extra homework, and let's get it done. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got two of these. So, when I saw this, obviously that's a pristine, which would be a great indicator. And so, I'm looking for things in the picture that I can judge. So, I looked, uh, I looked down here at the bottom. So, I see the W is completely... Even the cursor, the round cursor there, the small portion, is on the card. Okay? So let's look at this one. This one is not on the card. It's really close. I mean really close. But it's not <coughs> completely on the card. So I'll be interested to see if they take a half a point or a full point off for that. Okay, so that means that left to right, all right, and then when we look at the space between the bottom of the card and the blue swoop, okay, so now we look at that, and that means that the card, again, is, uh, the W is this way and down, okay, so as we look at my card, it's not the same as this one, so it's a little off, so there's two so, left to right, top to bottom. What will that be? Alright, so here's one that's looking really good. My other one, if I look at it, looks like the W is completely on the card. And that there is a sufficient space between the bottom and... That's the top's chrome. And bottom and the, uh, the other card. I thought that was a regular, so that's a chrome. All right, so this one is a is a tops update, and that's what I got here. And now, now look at the difference here. When we look at the difference here, we see that the the W is off a little bit, is hanging off a little bit. But there's a space between the bottom. So I got space on this one. And I don't have space on this one. So, you know. But this is a good way to look and see if these are centered. I know that I'm going to probably submit both of those just because, you know, I'm working on the Tatis. If, if, you know, if you can get the, I've got a lot more to pick from. So I'm able to do that. Where all these here are all singles too. So I've got a, a artist proof from gallery I'm going to submit. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. I don't necessarily like the picture. <laughs> looks like he's about 70. And he looks like he's upset. It doesn't look like the happy Juan Soto that we all know. And then I've got the uh, wood grain. This is pretty cool. So this is a uh, Topps Gallery wood grain. I'm going to submit that. That looks pretty good. Maybe a top and bottom. And then I've got a Heritage Tatis that looks pretty clean. I'm going to submit. And then in preparation for my Oakland A's to uh, whoop on the Tampa Bay Rays and go into the World Series, i got to submit some uh, Matt Olson. So I got a Matt Olson rookie from Series 2. I got a Matt Olson uh, Topps Chrome from 2017. And I got a Matt Chapman uh, from Update uh, 2017. So I'm going to submit all those. 
So this is basically kind of what I'm looking at. I'm looking to do a little bit extra work to see if I can resolve this problem of, you know, is it centered? Is it not? Is it hanging off the card? What is it doing? And when you have a stack, you know, a stack of, of tattoos to go through, you can do things like be a little bit more selective. So I was able to do that. So hopefully I'll be getting those out in the next couple of days. And in the process, I don't know if you saw my video last night, but I opened a box of 1989 Don Ross. And I pulled this out of it, out of the box. I've only opened half and I'll probably open the other half uh, sometime this week. And I was pretty excited about it because, I mean, it's a good looking card. Right, left, top, bottom. I was like, wow, hallelujah. You know, that's a, that's a good looking Griffey. Not that there's already 45,000 of them graded. But what I thought was interesting is I started really looking at it. And look at the stains all over it. Look at, look at the stains on it. I mean, it's perfectly centered. How could there be stains on it? Stain right there. Stain right here. Right there. I was like, what the heck? So, I don't know if you guys noticed it. I noticed it late in the video. I was a little upset about it. I was going to submit this one. I don't know if SGC has uh, a disclaimer like uh, PSA does. I, I believe PSA has a S or a writing or stained or something like that. They have some kind of uh, little little of a clarifier. So I'm going to email them over there at SGC and see if they have. But golly, it was, was kind of disappointing to pull a card that nicely centered out of a wax box. And it's the only card I've pulled so far that I've seen any staining on. So I don't know what the story is that. Again, SGC, let's do our due diligence and see if we can... Uh, do a little bit more work when we're submitting to SGC. So when we submit, you know, we're all talking about, oh, well, uh, you know, they're talking about uh, they're, they're, they're not centered. And they're, so I bought uh, some of my little tools, and this is one of them that I got. This is my magnifying stand so that I can look through and and judge my cards. I've got a really big uh, desk lamp that I use for my lighting uh, that I get down there and get in it and look real close. So uh, I heard someone say, we probably look at our cards more than SGC does. So uh, I, can, I can honestly say that I have. So let's hope for the best. I'll be submitting these and uh, sharing them with you and probably next year sometime I'll be doing a reveal video when I get these back. Hopefully uh, Tatis has won the uh, um, American League MVP. All right, so it's Charlie's Cards. Doing dil due diligence. Doing due diligence. Again and again. So that we don't get a bunch of Eight, five, Tatis. We get nines and tens. So, thank you very much. SGC Due Diligence. Check it out. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet and you watch the videos, uh, subscribing is a great way to show that you enjoy the content. It, uh, it helps me progress. It helps me know that things are going well in the community. And I appreciate everybody that has. And if you have a channel and you subscribe, I'll subscribe back. So thank you very much. Charlie's Cards, over and out.